Oh yeah. Songs about hobos. <laughs> I'm Lucas and I play the guitar. <laughs> I'm Madison and I play keyboard and sing. I'm Mitch and I play drums. It's difficult to always describe your genre. We we definitely have an indie vibe, especially with Madison's voice is very like you know like gritty indie stuff. We were pretty drunk at a party one night, <laughs> <laughs> and we were trying to decide the band name because um, I think it was originally Godzilla. Yeah, that was the idea. And then um, we were like throwing words around. I remember Lucas, you said that it was like we should have a one word band. Like that was like one of the criteria. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> so then we started like having one words about butts. Butts was one. I love butts. Ass was one. And then we had rump. rump. And somehow it became rump. Jesse and Mike at Canon Sound Foundation record our EP. They're the coolest people we've ever met. <laughs> and they were, they, I mean, they were a huge part of this process. I've, I've never felt more supported by a producer ever. And um, basically, we wrote a bunch of songs. We showed them to our friends, asked them which ones were their favorite. We picked four out, and then in two and a half, almost three days, we hit the studio and got it done. And I can't give enough credit to those guys, Mike and Justin. Yeah, and we were like, passionate. "That sounds better than us. Is that us?" Yeah, they're Because they did such a good job. Yeah, really, I can't thank them enough for it. Because like a lot of producers, you know, it's a job. It's they record your music and it's out, but you can tell these guys really care about it. And there's four songs on there. A lot of people have heard Portrait. That's the single we released, and that's probably the lightest one on the album. Drive's kind of catchy. We played, um, today we're playing um, uh, Sorry Not Sorry. That one's a little more edgy punk, but my favorite one's the If Your Head, and that one's really, really fun to play live. We've been playing together since June, and we kind of committed from the beginning that we were. I, it's weird because normally, like, you get to know people, and the band gets more passionate over time. But from the beginning, we all had set out to practice every day. Like that was our rule. As soon as we started writing music, so all summer we were practicing every day. And, and I feel like it feels like I've known them and been playing with them for years, but we've only actually known each other like a handful of months at best. Finger, yeah. I think something that's really interesting is that like usually bands form, it's like a bunch of friends who just start jamming. We kind of just met through like a series of events and we're, weren't friends before and we started right. jamming together and now they're probably my best friends.